Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play a phase from Steam Streams. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. If I can find my mouse. A map focusing on the portal on-off buttons and lasers. That is a little punishing for some wrong moves. No angled lasers through portals are needed, as well as no bugs or glitches. Thanks to Seven Silhouette for playtesting, along with Libby Bapper and Nobody No One for feedback. Inspired by an unintended solution in Thinking Without Portals by... You Jerry, you Jerry. Uh, please put any exploits bugs in the comments. Your feedback is gratefully appreciated. Okay, so I don't want to see that. Go away. What am I doing? No. Uh, so no, I did that. I did. Just before I start, I don't normally do this sort of thing, but today is a special day for me. Uh, it's my 10 year wedding anniversary for my wife, and what would be really amazing if you guys. I don't normally do. I said I don't normally do this, but if you guys who are on Twitter could go and just say something like. Um, Knox says happy 10 year wedding anniversary to my wife her twitter handle is on the screen right there is scotney cupcake uh hashtag uh, include me in there at nick scotney is my twitter handle just say something like um uh Knox says happy 10 year wedding anniversary or something like that um that'd be absolutely cool if more people would get to say that um i think that would be pretty awesome anyway without further ado let's jump in to the puzzle shall we so Quite like the on-off portal concept button thingy magicy. What am I doing here? That's not gonna work. Let's try up here for a start, maybe. So we have a redirection cube. Like that okay. So I can go back and get the cube. Like so. Probably gonna want to leave that there for now. If I had to guess, because now it's pretty much like normal portal. It's like normal portal. If I could shoot the lasers right. Okay. So, I think I need to. Thinking I'd probably redirect the laser through here. Well, I could do that to activate the faith plate. Exit requirements are laser in there, so we're going to need to. I think we're going to need to use two laser cubes. Uh, to bring this across here. Okay, so what I'm also thinking is now we're going to go and put the so um, we're going to want to use that one now so that we can set the portals up and then get back so I don't think I want to have that on there just at the minute and I want to bring this one across here For now. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah, but that's not going to help because of that. But yeah, I think what I need to do is... Okay. 
Don't think I can see that from over here though, can I? No. So you've got to put a pole on that side without, and then I've got to take a the button off. So that would be. That to me would suggest I need to do this. Putting a portal there. Do I need to get rid of that cube? Right, let's go back a minute. I can't remember where I um, saved. I can't even remember where I saved. Okay, so I saved here. So that's not a bad save spot. The minute both cubes are on the buttons. Now I can't take that through there. And both of these are on grated surfaces, so that doesn't help. But I think that's kind of the right idea. I'll just do this for now. Because then I can walk back. And I can effectively do a cube swap here. With this one. So that's something different, but I don't see how that's going to help too much. I think that's the right sort of idea. But I've got to lose the portals now to do anything. Does that really matter though at this minute, at the moment? I don't know. See, if I just respawn that cube, then we're back to what we had before, right? wasn't particularly helpful. 
So I think there, there was some good... There was kind of progress there, but there wasn't. There was progress, but there wasn't, if that makes any sense at all. What if I did? If I did this. No, because again, I it would. No, that would have. Don't need to put it on the button straight away. Maybe. Can I go back over to here? That's slightly different. It's kind of like where I'd want to now have the other cube on this button so I could recall it and then walk back through. So if these two cubes were in the other opposite positions. I could, like I said, I could have that through there. I could walk through here. I could respawn, recall that so that it was safe to walk through here. I can walk through there. And do what though? Because then we're not going to have that there, are we? Hmm. on the face of what was a relatively simple looking puzzle. So now got me a little bit stumped. So we could clear that earlier. So the only thing I can do now is do that there. I could put it to there as well. But I've got to get back, so...
Getting that cube swap is key. Getting that cube. Once you get that cube into the side, the puzzle's solved. It's just how I do that. So, is there a way this is going to lose the Now I don't have a way back over to here. So that's not going to help. I'm just drawn back to the same thing every time, even though I know it's not helping me. laser angles so that's not going to be the right thing to do as much as I feel like I need to I don't as much as I feel like I need to do that move respawning that cube really makes things complicated anything but 
particularly. I suppose it comes down to define a define a weird angle through a portal, but I don't really see how this is going to be any different at all. To what I've already done. Asking this cube to respawn is the big problem. So how do we get around it? How do we get around it? Alright, maybe. So instead of respawning this, we'll just go down here. Take it off the button. cube back. I need the pole to be there. I was thinking I could if I could, then I could redirect the laser through there if I could have that there I could point that to the, the laser through to there and then I could redirect the laser over to here and over to there to activate that again pull a portal there Kind of, but no. Because we already identified that we can't hit that from there, so I'd need to... So for this to now work, I would need to get across to the other side.
Oh, yes. Okay. That's there, I'm ready to respawn the other one at all. Run up to the stairs, do this. Take this off. Take this cube over here. Okay. Let's imagine. I had lined that up correctly. A bit like that. Okay. So now I go across. Now turn off round to here. Then we can do a, like a reversal. what we just did. It's maybe overcomplicating, but it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Okay. Now I have this cube on this side. Now I can simply. I think I'd like massively overcomplicate this. Okay. Two cubes, one side. Let's go. Alright, so now I need to think about how we're going to set up the exit. think should just oh I need both cubes um, so if we need both cubes we're gonna be better to swap these round because I can respawn this one Don't even think. Yeah, I don't even think I need to have. I 
Hold on. This one's got a point up to here now. I think we're all set actually. I think we're done. So if I point this at that cube, that cube respawns itself, then I can repoint this to there, pick up the cube, go through. Yeah, there we go. That was a good puzzle. I really enjoyed that one. Um, Having the non non opening fizzler in the middle is um, it's something you can't do in a normal puzzle, but this on off concept allows it. Um, so yeah, that's really cool to be able to do that. Um, it took for a very long time on that middle section, but once we got through it, and once I actually you know played around and enough, I managed to see what to do. So hopefully everything was intended. Um, yeah, I wish I'd have seen sort of pointing that over there a little bit earlier, but. Um, yeah, no, good stuff. Thank you very much um, for the shit. I think Seven Silver White suggested that, so thank you very much, uh, I think. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match to pay, please leave in the comments or head up to my Google form. I'll link to that is in the description. Um, as well, like I said, if I would really appreciate it if you could just go and say happy anniversary to my wife on Twitter. The handles, again, are on screen. Um, but yeah, until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.